Hey, what is Lou Tio representing BBK TV? Some high school, I triple D, and works on Sleepy and Ryan. Some of the promise I got some high school, they're seeing a couple of lives today. We got all the dogs outside, man. Everybody except for Tio. Tio ain't here. 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 Tio ain't Party went on. Good old Friday, man. Hey, make sure I hit that subscribe button, man. I'm trying to gain the extra 2,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get 2,500 subscribers by my birthday, July 5th. So I really uh, appreciate it, y'all help me get that man. We're trying to get that 2,500 subscriber mark by my birthday, July 5th. For my birthday, I want to have 2,500 subscribers, man. So if y'all can hit that subscribe button for your boy, I really appreciate it, man. Gonna be that good old 31. Yes, sir. No. Good, no one nothing to do with his kids. Good, get your kids, man. Good, girl, get your kids, man. Hey, girl, no. Ankle biter. Girl, ankle biter right there. Bite my ankle. Look at that little extreme freak, man. Back trying to bite my camera. Micro. Micro female OP. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? Come on, what's up? Oh, Rose over here. Keep it all food. I want to try it out to see because it's 28 protein, like uh, 18 or 20 percent fat. Top off, so I was trying to uh, check it out and see how it works. I mix it with that milk sugar, but it ain't a good mix. Hey, stop, girl. Come here. Coco. No, OP, damn. Kennels outside, man. Keep all our dogs in the garage, in those. It's summertime, it's too hot right now. I'm about to have to invest in me an uh, AC unit for the garage or something for the dogs. I'm running like he's in trouble. He did something. Yeah, 
if you got dogs outside right now in the summertime, man, the flies are bad. Uh, you need to make sure y'all uh, spraying your dogs down with Bronco fly spray. You get Bronco fly spray from Tractor Supply. You can spray around the air, uh, spray the area that your dog is at. Uh, it keep the flies away. Then I spray it on like their ears and their back, so the flies won't uh, won't get all on them. But I gotta go buy some more. I'm gonna go buy some more today. Shout out my boy Rick, man. He on that boy Hash, hooked me up with this throw ass shirt. Had to rock it today. Yes, yeah, sir. We also going to the Wheel Rogers Coliseum today to go set up. So if you're in the Fort Worth area, man, make sure y'all pull up, man. With your dogs or whatever, we get them on camera. Before you start recording, yeah, I'll be having shit on my mind before I start recording, and then I'll start recording, but my mind just go blank. That shit be crazy. Like, it be crazy. When I stop recording, I'll be like, damn, I meant to talk about this. I meant to talk about that. That shit, that shit really is annoying, man. It really be annoying me, man. I'll be getting pissed off. I'll be making videos, and I'll be trying to uh, talk about something, and then I'll forget what I, was, what I was trying to say. I need to get better at that. I need to get better at being able to talk on camera. It feel weird, cause like I be talking to myself, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I know like after I make the video, y'all gonna watch it and listen, but right now, like I'm talking to myself. I don't say nothing out here but dogs, so it be feeling weird. I just need to, I need to get in the, in the uh, groove of talking to myself, man. Um, just having a conversation with myself, knowing that y'all, like y'all there, I gotta imagine y'all being there, you know, so I can get, Get better at talking on camera. These uh, bulls, man, they beautiful species. I love doing this shit. I love breeding dogs. I've been, loving, I've been uh, in love with dogs since I was a little kid. My uncles own pit bulls, game dogs. Uh, they used to, they used to breed them. They had way more dogs than this. Uh, and I used to take care of them, right? feed them and shit, game dogs, fighting dogs. I was like 10, 11. I used to go back there and feed them, uh, walk them, play with them, you know what I'm saying? Game dogs, you know what I'm saying? I knew, I ain't know no better, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I knew they fought other dogs, man, but at the same time, they was never people aggressive, you know? So I never understood why uh, the pit bulls got that bad rap. Um, 
all the pit bulls I knew that fought dogs, uh, the people who owned them trained them to fight dogs, so they was trained to do that, you know what I'm saying, so they knew no better, that was the only thing they knew was to fight, you know what I'm saying, other dogs, you know, but at the same time, in the country, man, um, they train them, man, we will we'll, they will walk our dogs, you know, game dogs, we'll walk them all together, you know what I'm saying, to the park and everything, wouldn't have no problems, they could be next to each other, you know, be good, but as soon as you put them in that box, man, you put them in that ring, get them ready to scratch, hey, they already knew, man, it was on, you know, so that's how I knew the dogs were smart back then, you know what I'm saying, that's when I realized that as long as you train the dog to do what you want the dog to do, man, that dog is going to do it, um, it's all up to you, uh, that's why I ain't never, ever uh, been scared of pit bulls, because I know since a kid, man, that uh, pit bulls, they are not aggressive to people. They, I've been over here looking at these dogs playing with, who is that? Chanel, they chasing her. Stop! Stop bullying her. Right now. They always wanna pick on the, on the weakest link in the pack. That's why y'all always gotta watch out dogs. You know? If you let me pack out wrong, you know what I'm saying, by themselves, because they will pick on the weaker link. That is a fact. Look at you. dogs without papers and single dog register them and try to start our own line. Y'all gonna uh, get what you pay for over here at BBK, man. Real American Bully. Real bloodline. Nice, healthy dogs. If it's a dog that don't meet the qualifications of being bred, I mean, we would not sell that dog as breeding quality. We will sell that dog as pet home. Um, yes, it will still come with papers, but on the papers, it will say pet home only. Uh, on the paperwork, it will say no breeding rights. So uh, on them papers, uh, you cannot breed that dog. So so the registry will know, man, this dog is not to be bred. So if you do breed it, then, then puppies cannot get registered. I will start, I will start neutering, but I know people uh, do not like following directions think they can get over them, motherfuckers. I will neuter these dogs if I have to to sell them at pet home. So I know once I sell them for a low price, they will not get bred and then try to sell the puppies for a high amount. That is not how that shit works. If you buy a pet home dog, it's pet home only. You do not breed that dog. You do not decide when that dog get older. That is, in your eyes, it's breeding quality. If the breeder says it's not breeding quality and he don't want that dog bred and to have puppies, you must respect that. If you want a dog to have puppies, then you uh, need to let him know, and he can uh, get you a dog that's breeding quality in the future to save you money, man. If you don't have the money to purchase the dog you want at the time, just save that money until you're able uh, to purchase a, a puppy that meet those standards, those breeding uh, quality standards, man. I do have dogs I need to sell. Uh, I really don't be like 
stressing over it. Like if you want to buy a dog for me, in my eyes, you will hit me up when you're ready with the money. And you can purchase one of these dogs, man. If you if you're serious, if you're serious about buying a dog, all you gotta do is hit me up 682-241-3509, and we can work something out. Uh, even if I'm asking 3,000, 3,500 for a dog, if you're really interested in that dog, if I really see that you love dogs when you're talking to me, man, I really see that you know what you're talking about, and uh, you're in this for the right for the right reason. I will work out a deal with you on the dog. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm asking a certain amount of price don't mean I have to have that to sell that dog. You know what I'm saying? If I'm asking 35 and you got somewhere close to 35, you know what I'm saying? And you're not trying to you're not trying to lowball me, you know what I'm saying? And hey, we, we can work out a deal and sell that dog for a cheaper price. But if I'm asking 3500 and you come out right off the rip asking, uh, can you get it for 2K? Can you get it for 2500 I'm gonna say no, bro, cause cause now I just feel disrespected. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm asking 3,500 now. You trying to get it down there for half the price. You know what I'm saying? Now, what you don't think my dog's worth that? You know, that's how I feel. I feel like you think that uh that my dog bullshit or something, or, or you think you I got some bad ass dog. I'm gonna get this dog for the low. I'm about to go ahead and finesse him, and I'm gonna goddamn breed him and make all the money. Nah, motherfucker, you're not doing this shit over here, bro. My dogs are what they are, cause I know when you get these dogs, you can make your money back off my dogs. If I sell you a dog for 5K, best believe you're gonna be able to make your money back, bro. And that's how, and that's how it should be. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't sell no dog for 10K, and then somebody buy a dog for 10K, and they can't make their money back on the first and second breed. You know what I'm saying? They can't even. Yeah, I feel like if I buy a dog for $10,000, I should be able to sell them puppies for at least five bands. You know what I'm saying? At least 7,500. Like real talk, bro. That, that price range gotta be somewhere around there. If I'm buying a dog for 10K, 15, 20K, bro, I gotta at least be able to sell them puppies for like half the price I bought that dog for. Like, and that's just real, bro. I understand, like, I'm not gonna sell the puppies like 10K a piece, you know what I'm saying, just cause I bought a $10,000 dog. But if it's a $10,000 dog, them puppies should be able to sell for 5K, 7K, 8K. And some might be able to sell for more than that, you know what I'm saying? But that's that's like part of the game. When, when you get in this motherfucker, uh, any biz, you wanna be able to double your money up. It's like, you know, I'm from the street, so when I used to sell drugs, I get a pound, you know, 1,800, 2K. You know what I'm saying? Off that 1,800, 2K, bro, I at least wanna make back about 3,500, 3K. You know what I'm saying? So I can at least have like a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars profit off that. You know what I'm saying? I almost double up, you know, because I'm breaking, I'm busting it down. Then I used to wholesale. When you wholesale shit, you know what I'm saying? You necessarily not gonna double up your money. But when you when you bust it down and say a wholesale, you know what I'm saying? You trying to make your money back. You're not trying to get no pound for two K and then only make your money back. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit ain't gonna ain't gonna work. You'll never be successful at that shit. Pound of corn, you know what I'm saying? You get it low, thousand dollar, eight hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? For a pound of corn. So hey, you selling three, four grams for like ten dollars, right? So you go get that cush, you know what I'm saying? At two thousand, you know what I'm saying? Double of what that corn is. Now I'm selling grams for twenty, twenty five dollars a gram. You know what I'm saying? It's just like with the dogs. You go get you a, a, a pit bull for, for three, four hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? You selling them puppies for two, three, four hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? And then boom, you go get your American Bully for two thousand. Boom, now you selling them puppies for a thousand, fifteen hundred. You go get you a dog for five k. Boom, now you selling them puppies for twenty five hundred, three k. You know what I'm saying? It's it's all it's all. It's all just like the streets, bro. It's all just like the hustle. Anything you do, man, all this shit is the same shit, man. So, you gotta look at it like that. You gotta look at this shit as a business move. You gotta look at this shit as an investment, man. Yeah, this is a pet. Yeah, they badass dogs. Yeah, they look good. Design the dogs. When you see them, they turn heads and shit. And uh, people just love dogs and just wanna buy them and, and take care of them. But at the same time, man, this shit is an investment. Once you buy one dog, man, you, you once you buy one American bully, you really have invested into a business. You really invested into your future. Whether you know it or not, whether you realize it, whether that's what you're trying to do, um, even if you don't think you're going to breed that dog, man, I'm telling you, bro, in the future, you can make your money back. You know what I'm saying? You might not breed it and you might not make your money back, but I'm telling you, if you buy a $5,000 dog 
And in the future, you breed it. You know what I'm saying? You have officially started your business, man. That is your business. It's a small business, but it's a business. It's going to make you money. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to spend money to make money. That's, that's one thing. You know what I'm saying? You got to spend money to make money. But hey, at the end of the day, man, you can still make money off the dogs. You can make a living off the dogs. You know what I'm saying? I ain't worked all year. I ain't worked all year, man. And I done made... And I done made more money this year than I did last year all year working. You know what I'm saying? I already done made it. It's off the dogs, bro. You get what I'm saying? So, like, so it's hot there, man. I'm living proof, bro. I'm living proof, man. Paid bills, all that shit. Done, done went on vacations, everything. Without going to work all year. My wife worked. You know what I'm saying? She bring in her little money, you know what I'm saying, consistently. But me, man, hey. These dogs is what I do, man. I go out and I'm shooting, I'm recording videos. I'm trying to YouTube. I'm trying to better my life, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be stuck in the same spot. I didn't want to keep working, you know what I'm saying, for the white man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to keep working for them Fortune 500 companies where they making millions and millions of dollars off of me. I was working at Callaway Golf, forklift driver, man. I'm talking about 10, 12 hour shifts. Getting paid $16 an hour, bro, to drive the forklift just to pick up golf clubs and go put them, you know what I'm saying, on the conveyor. What well, they had up there on the TV screen, a board, how much money we was making every day. Bro, every day, bro, Callaway Golf was making a million dollars off the stuff we was shipping out just in that one warehouse. Just in that one warehouse, just in that 12-hour shift of me only making See, 150 times 10, 150 and 3. Uh, me making like, what, well, $180, $200 in that 10, 12 hours. Me making about $200. They were making a million. So they was paying me $200 to make them a million. You get what I'm saying, bro? Fuck that, bro. I'll be damned, bro. I, that ain't me, bro. I'm not about to keep working for you, and you're going to be making millions off me, bro. That ain't how this shit work, bro. I'm from the country, bro. My papa, he raised me better than that. He told me to get out here and get this shit on my own. He showed me how to work with my hands. He showed me how to be an entrepreneur at an early age, man. We was out there mowing uh, acres, mowing colleges, man, everything, like cemeteries, all that shit. So every weekend... I was out there getting it. I was out there grinding, bro. I was going to work with my papa. My papa was shot in the leg 13 times, had a stroke in the left arm, and that motherfucker stood up, get up and work. You know what I'm saying? So I had no excuses. So when I'm out here, bro, I have no excuses. You know what I'm saying? To, to why I can't get out here and get it on my own, bro. I saw my papa do this shit at an early age, and he just um, had to start working like, like, like four years ago because he got shot in the leg. Uh, 13 times, like 20 years ago, right? Um, and they never was able to get the bullets out. He got shot in the leg, was in the hospital. They gave him a cast all the way up to like his chest all the way down. He couldn't walk, he couldn't work for months. They say he cut the cast off, uh, just left his leg cast on and kept working. He was hollering, hey, he used to haul hand shit. And they say he never went back to the hospital. So with that, his leg got infected. He had a big wound. If you ever seen a hot dog bun, just imagine the, uh, that slit of that hot dog bun. That's, that was like the side of my papa leg, man. So we always had to bandage it up. We always had to uh, take care of it, man. And then one day, he rolled over in the bed, and his whole thigh bone snapped off. And that was the day he couldn't work no more. But all the way up to that day, man, I'm 31, like 25. So he had he had that before I was born. So for 20 some years, my nigga, my papa worked with 13, with 13, bullet shells in his leg with a stroke in his left arm only having the right side of his body fully functional and he got up every morning and worked to work busted his ass for himself you know what i'm saying he got out there for himself he didn't work for nobody else he had his own company he had his own shit and he did that oh, i got, got bit by a mosquito on my hand ain't that about a bitch i mean just got bit by a mosquito okay but yeah you know what i'm saying so he taught me how to get out here and get this shit. That's why I'm able to read these dogs, sell these dogs, get out there and, and uh, network, socialize, talk to other people, you know what I'm saying? That, talk to people that wouldn't even never talk to me, you know what I'm saying? But I know how to approach them because I ain't never scared. My papa showed me this shit. He showed me how to approach the people, you know what I'm saying? So, talk to them, you know, yes sir, no sir. 
uh, the right way, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have a daddy in my life, but I had my papa in my life, old school, and he showed me all the old school ways. He told me, yes sir, no sir, to get you involved in life, the money for ever take you, man. And that shit's true, man. That shit's true. So many doors are open up, man, just because of the way I know how to talk. Like, people that, that, that shit catch them by surprise, man. Even though I'm hood, bro, I can get hood. At the same time, man, I was, I was taught, I was raised right by my grandparents. So, man, I, I know, I know a thing or two, man, when it comes to this business, you know what I'm saying, how to talk, how to uh, take care of myself, you know, and that's just is what it is, man. My granny, very spiritual lady, she never let me, she never let me, uh, she never let me get out of control, man. She always uh, kept me in line. She always taught me the right morals in life and shit. So I just take that shit now, man, and I use it in life, and that shit actually works, man. It give me, it got me here to where I am today. I'm not here where I am today, man, because because I done made a lot of money. I'm not here today because I was the most popular in school. I was uh, the most liked, you know what I'm saying, in the hood. Nah, man, I I was never none of that. You know what I'm saying? I was always. Um, I was always, you know, the odd one, you know what I'm saying, in the group, you know what I'm saying, just because I've always been different, man. I've always been myself. I've always had the confidence that I've never had to follow nobody, you know what I'm saying, I've never had to copy nobody. I've never had to try to be like nobody else. I've always been like myself. And with that, and with that shit, sometimes it comes shit, people don't like you like that, you know what I'm saying, you don't fit in. And that's cool, bro, I've never wanted to fit in. So if y'all think I'm on here trying to fit in, I want to be cool, you know what I'm saying, like the next guy is, that ain't me, bro. I always gonna be myself, you know what I'm saying? So when y'all get on this channel, bro, y'all gonna get me.